Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Episode number 11, WWE 2K19, my career mode, man. I can't wait for this shit to be over, man. I can't wait for it to be over. I want to dive into the other content I want to give you guys. Plus, I want to finish Spider-Man as well, and I just want to get both of these games over with and then start something new. I'm in the, the mood to start something new. But it looks like we're about to get a totally new storyline. Just from the coming attractions, man. Apparently, Matt Hardy is going to be featured in the next couple of chapters. And we will embark on a journey through the broken or woken universe. So that's very exciting, man. So thank you guys so much for joining me here on episode number 11. If you enjoy what you see here, I urge you to please hit that thumbs up, man. Hit that thumbs up right now. Listen, I'm going to take a sip of my fucking coffee. And within the 10 seconds that it takes me to taste my coffee, I want you guys to hit that thumbs up, okay? So, ready, set, go. Did you hit that thumbs up? I certainly hope you did, man. I certainly hope you did. If not, well, you go fuck yourself. That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, let's get on with the rest of this My Career Mode, man. This should be a very interesting chapter. And by the way, clowns, I did prestige. I had no idea that I had to. But being that everybody chimed in on the last one that I did, I did prestige, as you can see by level one. So there you go. Now we can continue. Uh, now we can continue to level up. All right. So here we go. Going to Raw. It's like sending someone off to the fucking firing line, or sending someone off to fucking Rikers Island. Misery awaits you on Raw the next night. What happens? What we got on Monday Night Raw here, man. What do we have? Loading. There we go. Ooh. Hey, champ. Just wanted to let you know we're wrestling tonight. What? And it's for the title. Uh, yeah, Kurt actually texted me about it this morning. My dad texted you? He never responds to my text because he says he's not really a texter. Huh. That's odd. Anyway, want a picture together? Uh, uh no. Sure, I guess. Is this something you normally do with your opponents? Not really. I just thought it would be a nice memento for you to have after you lose your title tonight. Look That's a keeper. This? I'll text you to pick. Kidding me, man. Uh, you thanks. know, you, you got a big I mouth for someone thought. who's fucking I'm injured. Not really a texter. You got a big mouth for someone who's fucking injured there, Mr. Jason John. Why didn't Kurt why didn't Kurt Angle message me? He says he's not a texter. Maybe because he's not really your father, you fucking asshole! Anyway, we're going to stay right here, man. We're going to stay right here. Instead of flipping back and forth between the commentary, which I, I'm assuming could be entertaining, but we'll, we'll stay right here. We'll stay right here. We'll switch it up. I don't need to disappear for every match. I know some of you guys like my live commentary during these things, so we'll, 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 we'll just go along with it. You know? Uh-oh. JoJo's for us, man. You may be seeing me soon, man. The, the face of fear. Bray Wyatt, man. That's my woman in the ring, man. I cheated on my wife, man. With JoJo's for us, man. Jason Jordan, why didn't my daddy text me? Jason. Why didn't my daddy text me? Jordan. I feel bad for this guy, man. He's hurt. Right? He's hurt. I read a report a couple days ago that he's very, very optimistic about coming back. I hope he does, man. We're all could use all the talent and the help that they could get. I don't know how much. Uh, well, apparently people love him here. Man, fuck that shit. You get him back with Chad Gable. You have Bobby Roode turn on Gable. And then you get American Alpha back together, man. American Alpha versus AOP is money. 
I'm telling you right now. Whoa! He's wearing purple now! I'll switch it up, man. He, lo he always looked good in purple. That was one of his first colors, man. Purple with the black. So, we're going to do the purple with the gold. The new intercontinental champion, bro. Mr. 9 to 5. Beat the Miz. Defending his title against Jason. Why didn't my daddy text me? Jordan. Mr. 9 to 5 looks pissed, man. Why is he so pissed? Maybe he didn't like the way the picture came out. You know, he doesn't take pictures with, with anybody. Not all, only his secretaries, man. And there must be a low-cut shirt worn by the secretaries, man. Gotta show some cleavage in those shots, Mr. 9 to 5. That's, that's what, th th those are uh, re requirements, you know? Very short skirt, you know, big tits. That's what Mr. 9 to 5 likes, man. Don't, don't, don't look at me, I'm only, uh, th 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 this is from my sources. You know? I'm hearing Mr. 9 to 5 is trying to enlist Sasha Banks as a new secretary. After their nice little interaction, but you know, Kurt Angle fucking cock blocked. Who the fuck wants to take the court? Who wants to talk to Kurt Angle when you got Sasha Banks shaking her ass in front of you? Come on. Oh my goodness, man. The one title that's uh, the number one title on Monday Night Raw now, being that we have a. Uh, Ghost champion in Brock Lesnar. Maybe we should call Zach Bagans. Find out where the fuck he is. Jason Jordan. Jason Jordan. JoJo! Oh, you can't hear JoJo because I muted everybody. Muted everybody, man. Yeah, they're booing him. I thought they were cheering him. They're booing him. They're booing him. Mr. 95 looks good in purple, bro. It was either that or go back to the black. I always look good in colors, man. I like those business colors, strong business colors. You know? Purple, pink, yellow. They won't do yellow. I took the jacket off of Couldn't find a jacket that I liked. I wanted to change up the jacket. But uh, being that, you know, 2K gives you nothing for the my players. For the My Career Superstars that you create, you gotta fucking buy everything, and everything's like 1,500 fucking VC. Or 15,000, rather. I wish it was 1,500. I would've bought like four or five different jackets. Set them, set them up for the entire fucking uh, career mode. But well, here we go. Oh, what happened, Jordan? What happened, Jordan? Huh? You don't like that explosive offense? Clown? DDT, nicely done. 95's going for the cover. Quick. No, he ain't going for the cover. I thought he was going for the. Uh, he missed the drop kick there. Oh! Sit out power bomb by uh, Double J. Look at this fucking guy, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, can I get a fucking counter? There you go, fucking Christ! Look at this guy, dude. Maybe he was right, maybe he's gonna take the Intercontinental title from me. There you go. Fuck you, bro. Close line, Bulldog, nicely done. There you go, that's what I like to see. Go for the cover, man. Not even a one count. Not even a one count on this fight. There's a reversal. Whatever, game. Fuck you. Another reversal. Watch. What a fucking clown. This game sucks. Uh, I thought I had a kip up. I guess I didn't have one. Go for that sunset flip power bomb. 
Yeah. Drop that big elbow. Yeah. That's right. That's right, nine five. Roll outside. That's that's the right thing to do. Jason Jordan, look, he thinks he's, he's hulking up over here. You want to come outside, bro? No, 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 no. You come over here. Dude. You gotta come and get me, bro. Yeah, see, baited him. Take a breather, take a breather. Take a breather. Nine to five going up top. See what he's got. Big splash, nicely done there. Time to end this goon. Time to end. No, he blocked me, of course he did. Go fuck yourself, Double J. Right to the eye. What happened? Good old school, old Hogan. Let me see you reverse this one now. Time to bury you. There you go. Referee. Referee was like, whoa. Paint him. I couldn't believe it. 9 to 5, couldn't believe it. Another DD. Oh, he blocked that one. Of course he did. Blocked it into one of his own. Look. Get out of here. I don't know how much of a rope break that really was, but... Guy's looking to fucking finish me off now. That's a rope break. Fuck off. Man. It's another rope break. Man, this guy's this guy might take the title from me, dude. I might have to fucking do this match all over again, to be honest with you. I can't reverse anything. He's working in such let's a, let's a, oh, I lost. He's working in such a slow methodical pace. That could be it. That could be it. We've got the pen to paper right there, man. Which I wish I could change, but the game is fucking ridiculous. And just like that. Just like that. Out of nowhere. That's what I'm talking about, man. Kurt Angle's baby boy. Ain't he great? No, he's not. Fuck your replay, man. No, I don't think he wants a selfie with fucking Mr. 9 to 5. Uh oh. Do you hear the buzz? It's the sound of the cicada emerging after years of slumber from their underground existence. Just as you have emerged from the underground and made your presence known. Unfortunately for the cicada, when it tunnels its way to the Earth's surface, it only has mere weeks to live before it is eaten by a predator. Well, 
I am the bread of world. I am the eater well, of worlds. I am the man. eater of worlds. You should have stayed on the ground, my friend. Because now I am coming for you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, speak of the devil, Mr. Wyatt shows up, apparently uh, laughing at Mr. 9 to 5's expense. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen now, man. This is going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting with Mr. Wyatt now involved. Let's see what happens here. Angle's definitely got to do something now. Angle, save me, bro. Stop throwing your fucking son in matches with me. Save me. Jesus Christ. Bug busters. Still sleeping in the fucking van? He's got a WWE contract. He's sleeping in the fucking hey, van. Hey, not to be weird or anything, but I've been meaning to ask you since you got to Raw. What? Did you want to hug? driving this retro van everywhere? Uh, it's, I want to hug you. what I'm used to, I guess. I kind of lived in it when I was on the indie scene. Kind of? Okay, I, I definitely lived in it when time was tight. And then when I signed with WWE, I decided to uh, fix it up. Keep it running. Interesting. And the bug logo? Oh, this used to be my dad's work van for his exterminator business. It's pretty much the last thing he gave me. I guess his way of supporting my crazy wrestling dreams. That's cool. I mean... Yeah, you know what else is the cool? The NXT kind of version like of you. Well, I think your dad would be really proud of what you've accomplished so far. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Why don't you turn around so I can see you walk away? Fuck out of here, man. Bailey. Who the fuck wants to interact with Bailey? What the fuck? Well, listen, I got I got an issue right now, man. I'm the champion. You're giving me fucking Kurt Hawkins? Jesus Christ. The only thing that's a fact is that this guy's a fucking loser. There we go. I like seeing the introductions, man, for everybody. Why, why don't you cut the introductions out? Give it a real life feel. How good would the video look if I fucking click through the button? Right? Or click click through the scene. There's no introduction. We get right to the match. It's like it's half-assed. You gotta get the full experience, man. Kurt Hawkins, hashtag fox. Face the fox. Face the fox. Raw is garbage. Face the facts. Roman Reigns is a failure. Face the facts. The women's revolution is political garbage. Face the facts. WWE doesn't want to push women's wrestling. They don't care about women's wrestling. They have to push women's wrestling. Face the facts. Ronda Rousey is handcuffing the entire women's division. Face the facts. WWE would rather push divas and bellas over real women's wrestling. Face the facts. NXT is far superior to both Raw and SmackDown. Face the facts. Vince McMahon is a senile, demented old fool. Face the facts. Charlotte is overrated. Face the facts. Becky is greater than Charlotte. Face the facts. Tessa Blanchard, Tony Storm are greater than Charlotte. Face the facts. Raw is garbage. Let's go right back to number one. That's a nice little cane you got there, bro. Maybe I should fucking shove it up your ass. You can take it back to Vince McMahon and ask him why you haven't won a fucking match yet. This is a clear setup. Has to be a setup, man. Bray Wyatt's gonna be playing more mind games here. No question.
This guy is the biggest fucking bum in WWE, and he's in a video game. Seriously. What a loser. Look, he's got look, he's got all the losses. Look, he's got all the losses chalked up on his fucking jacket. That's his thing. He's a loser. This match should be three minutes easy. Easy. Yeah. Suplex. This is gonna be too easy. Yeah, 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 roll out of the ring, clown. Roll out of the ring, clown. Yeah, what happened there? I'm gonna roll out of the ring. Face the fox, you're a coward. Tilt the world DDT or tornado DDT. Uh oh, fuck out of here, dude! You think you get offensive on me? Fucking about to bury you right now, Aranagi. Suplex there by Mr. 9 to 5. All right, he's uh, showing Kurt Hawkins how to actually wrestle here tonight. That was a good thing. Call oh, Mr. 9 to 5 the suplex fucking machine, man. Holy shit. He got the knees up. Fucking clown's getting beasted and he got the knees up. Yeah, what happened there, bro? Is he reversing me? I don't know what the fuck he was waiting for there. Yeah, you got no more reversals now, man. What are you gonna do now? Huh? This guy is getting beasted. Roll to the center of the ring. Hit it right there. That's what I'm talking about. He's the 9-5. He's out of momentum. Apparently my controller is out of momentum as well. Big pile driver. We are going to finish this guy off. Taking a page out of Randy Orton's book, but instead of a DDT, it's a neck break. Now we're going to uh, now we're going to finish this guy. Up. Get, get him! Come on! Let to add another loss to your record, Mr. Hawkins. Termination! Please escort this man out of the building. He has been terminated. He gets up from this man. What did he need to say? If he gets up from this, I'm a weasel. Go. Or I tell you, where you at, Wyatt? You gonna show up on the fucking screen again? Huh? Fuck your replay. That's right, man. This is ninth five. Is your intercontinental champion dominant as always? Uh oh. Uh oh. Do you hear that again? Do you hear that again, man? It's the sound of insects it's buzzing the sound all around us. Of insects buzzing all but around us, you, man. They serve they a purpose. They serve a purpose, man. My fireflies light up the night so maggots can seek out and dine on rotten flesh dine and waste. Dine on the rotted flesh For and you? waste. You're simply a parasite, feeding off of everyone you encounter and giving nothing in return. Nothing in return. The lineage man. itself was built on someone whose sole purpose was to leave death in their path. Leave death in their path. To, to exterminate. exterminate, man. And I find that amusing. Because that is exactly 
what I'm going to do to you. You see, at TLC, you can leave your precious title at home. I'm not concerned with that trivial ornament. What I am concerned with is your demise. Your extermination. Extermination, man. And then I'll exterminate JoJo's I'm not going to stand man. here and let you try to play mind games with me. But what I will do is accept your challenge for a match at TLC. <laughs> oh my god. Man, why is it that Bray Wyatt is in a better storyline in the game than he's ever been in real life? Oh my goodness. Bray Wyatt is coming to exterminate JoJo's fat ass, man. No, but really, he's uh, come to exterminate Mr. 9 to 5. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be in the ring or at the. Uh oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. Sorry to interrupt um, whatever it is you're doing. doing. What does it look like? I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, listen, I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Um, I don't think so. If one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. Okay, so how do I become woken? That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. <laughs> it must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, come here. Okay, thanks. I guess. <laughs> oh, no! What the fuck? What happened there? Are we jumping right into a backstage brawl? That was so fucking weird. Why didn't it transit? Why do, I, why do I have to go into a loading screen after I see Wyatt jump me from behind? Oh shit. Follow me, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Man, sit the fuck down, you fucking clown. Get Bray Wyatt to your van in the parking lot? My van is right here. What happened, Mr. Wyatt? Huh? Get up. He's choking me out. Get off of me. 
Stop using a JoJo late at night, man. What happened, bro? Here we go, look. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. The fuck is gasoline? What is gasoline doing by the fucking van? We're gonna, gonna fucking burn me alive? Oh, my God, he's done. better bro man Wyatt's actions in this five minutes alone are better than anything he's done in the last two years on Monday Night Raw now you don't even see him now they can't even book him on the show because they don't know what to do with him Jesus Christ man this chap is fucking crazy setting vans on fire wishing fucking demise and death on fucking Mr. 9 to 5 holy shit now we're, at the, well, we're at half strength now. Bray Wyatt torched this fucking fan. He's hurting. The fucking van was a gift from his father, man, and now Bray Wyatt destroyed it. Oh my goodness. What a despicable act. A despicable act. What are we gonna get, man? Is Matt Hardy gonna come to the rescue? Is he going to make Mr. 9 to 5 woken? I don't know. The fuck do I got a match with Finn Balor? What, what is Finn Balor doing here? Let me see what Bailey says. What do you, what do you want, honey? Yeah. Hey, you probably don't want to talk about it right now, but I'm sorry about what Bray did to your van. I know it meant a lot to you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Are you, you going to give me a hug now? Of course you are. Wait, 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 wait. Were you going to hug me because that's your thing, or because you're worried about what might happen tonight? Um, more the second one. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll take you out The only day, person honey. anyone should be worried massage. about I don't care. is Bray Wyatt. You know, you got some nice assets on you, honey. She looked concerned. Don't worry, if I get beat up too much, I'll gladly have you take care of me. Let's see what this fucking smiley fa. Here we go. Are you gonna be smiling at me? Hey. What, you got no fucking voice? Hey? I've had my share of battles with Bray Wyatt in the past, so I know how you're feeling right now. Did he ever set fire to something valuable of yours? I guess Finn Balor couldn't do the voiceovers for whatever. Him and John... Uh, unless it's a glitch in the fucking game. I see his mouth moving. No, I'm sorry about that. If I could give you some advice, it would be to dig down and find a violent place deep within yourself. Which I imagine won't be hard considering what he did. Good luck and remember when it comes to Bray Wyatt, be prepared for anything. Don't worry, I will be. Let's see what fucking Kurt Angle has to say. I know you were cleared by the doctor, but I need to personally make sure you're both physically and mentally fit to compete tonight after course, what Bray Wyatt did you last up, week. Man. Do you know who you're talking to? Huh? Now, there's nothing that could stop me from getting revenge on Bray for what he did. Nothing. Let me go back to Finn Balor. I want to see if he actually speaks. Hey. Hey. No, I guess you don't have a fucking voice in the game. All right, man, let's go to uh, the match. It's bright. Uh-oh. What the fuck? <coughs> Fucking poisonous gas! Look at this shit. He's dead. Oh 
my god, dude! I swear to God, man, I don't know. I don't understand why this is so difficult to book to book on the show. This is the type of shit Bray Wyatt should be doing, man. You have a plethora of things that you could possibly do with this guy like that, and you refuse to do it. You know, great it would be us on Monday Night Raw to see some poisonous gas in the fucking locker room. Uh oh. He dragged him to the fucking wine compound. What the fuck? Now we're gonna follow the figgy with the bat. See what this guy's about. Baron Blade? Is Baron Blade haunting my dreams, bro? This is fucking crazy right now. Craziest episode by far of WW2K19. Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? What was it? It is Baron Blade. Give me that motherfucker. Look at this. Give me that bat. Ghosts and ghouls in the background, man. DDT right on the grass. Give me this bat, clown. He's running at me, chasing me, chasing me, chasing me. Set the fuck down, bitch. I'm gonna grab this fucking kendo stick. Random kendo stick laying on the ground. That's right, man. Swing for the fences like Albert Pujols. Take one of these fucking trash pals now, too. Wanna fuck with me? Oh, the fucking devastating, dude. Oh my goodness! Can I take this chair? I can't do nothing with the chair. Can't even go. I, can, I heard that this is just aesthetics, but you can't even go into the house. You can't even go into the fucking house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice neck breaker there by 9 to 5. Uh oh, we're gonna go for a tombstone now. No? This is his finishing move? No, he reversed it. Of course he fucking reversed it. What else is fucking new? Man, it's so fucking lame. You can't drive the tractor. You can't fucking go into the house. I'd love to go into the house and go into the fucking uh, the roof. Not just fighting up there, going into the house, going into the kitchen, taking a toaster, fucking electrocuting him, you know? Yeah, yeah. This guy's getting his ass kicked, dude. Who the fuck this clown is? I don't know who he is. Look, a glorious DDT. Now we're gonna save it. Getting his fucking ass kicked. Now this is not really uh this is not really a uh, a, a good representation of the change they wanted for the game, man. Ugh. You know, get out of here, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, take a bow. I gave your wife a bow after the fucking blowjob she gave me, you fucking clown. 
Pick the fucking trash pail up, you fucking goon. Oh, he can't pick it up. Get out of my way. Can I go back there? Can I dump him in the swamp? What happened now, bro? Yeah. Like someone's getting fucking tortured. Look at this shit. I gotta get up again. Stop throwing me! He blocked it again! I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Look at this fucking guy, dude. What are you posing for? There's no one here! Yeah, what happened, asshole? Well, of course you do. This game sucks. This game is a fucking failure. Sit the fuck down. No, don't throw the bat. Dude, the, the, the movement in this game. Look. The movement in this game is fucking ridiculous. Pick the trash pail up! I can't pick up- I can't pick up a used trash pail?! Get the fuck out of here, dude! Oh, look at this. This guy's gonna beat me. Dude, this guy's gonna beat me. All this nonsense. Get up. Go fuck yourself, Baron Blade. You fucking clown. What the f Dude, why is there a zombie? Dude, this has to be a dream sequence. This has to be a dream sequence. Why is there a Triple H cosplayer? Here. A zombie Triple H just dragged me away after I left Baron Blade, or who I think is Baron Blade, left laid to waste. The weirdest fucking shit, man. I got fucking crows and owls and goose, uh, ghosts, ghosts and goblins, apparitions in the background. Now I got a zombie Triple H who just dragged my body. <laughs> Look at this guy. You want the title? Take the fucking title! I'll give it to you! Look at this. Am I gonna have no health now? Get out of my way. Yeah, sit down. Why? I'll send you back to the fucking hotel. Is this, where you, is this where you do your dirty deeds with JoJo? Huh? Think if I examine this rocket chair a little bit closely, there's some, there's some stains on there, bro. Ooh. Fuck out of here. Now pick it up. I don't want to drop it. Ooh. Get Bray Wyatt to the tractor and then hit him with a strike. Look at that. Fuck out of here. Oh, 
Oh man. Close line down, nine to five, can't get up. Uh-oh. Hacksaw Jim Duggan apparently made an appearance. Oh. Two by four, broken over Wyatt's back. Oh no. Sister Abigail right into the side of the house, man. Get Bray Wyatt to red health. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Get him up. Of course he blocked my... Of course. I can't go this way? Fuck you, bro. And now you got no... Now you got no reversals, dude. What are you gonna do now? Huh? Now what? Get Bray Wyatt to the porch of the cabin. Of course he reversed me! Dude, you know, this game sucks, dude. Come on! Right, grab this with me. Pull the Randy Orton! Yeah! Torch the bitch! My goodness, man. Mr. 9 to 5 just set the Wyatt family compound ablaze. Holy shit. What do we got going on here, man? This is crazy. I thought we were going to go to TLC and defend the fucking IC title. I got Zombie Triple H. I got fucking Baron Blade. I got fucking Fires. A Wyatt family compound. Poisonous gas. Matt Hardy playing the violin. Oh my god. Probably the most enjoyable fucking episode yet. Who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? Kurt Angle. Let's see what Kurt Angle has to say. I don't need to How get are you out feeling here. today? Not great. I'm sore. I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. I can also so. explain some of the things I saw out there. A full recovery is what's most important right now. But unfortunately, no, we don't no, know no, yet no, how no, long no. that might yeah, take. Get the so fuck I have some bad here. news. Triple H is making me strip you of the Intercontinental Championship. Due to the injuries you've suffered. I'll make it back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too. But Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. He said his decision was final. I'm sorry. I'll try my best to give you a chance to regain the Intercontinental title when you return. Now try to get some rest, okay? Bullshit. I call bullshit, bro. I am good to go. I just had two fucking Wyatt Family Compound Brawls. 
Anyway, man. I'm gonna take a little break. I'll be right back. I'm gonna use some styles points. I'm gonna read some emails. And I'll be right back with you guys in just a little bit. Alright, man, we're back with uh, WW2K19 here. After what Bray Wyatt has done to Mr. 9 to 5. Apparently they stripped him of the Intercontinental Championship. Got some got some messages here. Hey, Intercontinental Champion. That was quite a win you had over the Miz. Yeah, I know we still haven't talked, but I wanted you to know I've continued to watch you every week. Uh we uh, we, we heard you had to close BCW down. Fuck you, bro. Uh Sasha Banks texts me. Says, heard you're not feeling great after what happened with Bright. Let me know. What I can do. I have a laundry list of things you could do, honey. Put on a nice little nurse outfit. And then give me a call. Bailey. I'm so worried about you. Please let me know you're okay as ASAP. I knew something like this would happen. Listen, I'm sure you and Sasha collectively could make me feel much better. Call Quinn. What happened? Are you okay? I know I'd be there. Oh, you know I'd be there in a heartbeat to come see you. I, but I have a match tonight. Try calling you again later. Baron Bl uh, Blade. What Bray did to you was sick. Hope you're okay. No, you don't want my help, but I'm here if you need anything. Now, I got Sasha and Bailey taking care of that, Mr. Blade. Go fuck yourself. Jason Jordan. Thought this picture would make you feel better. Awesome. Awesome. Rest and recover. Let's see what happens next, man. They stripped me of the IC title. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. But. We're moving on. We're moving on here. Let's see what we got. Coming up. I hope, I hope to get my title back. Or replace it with a new title. Weeks later. Is he back to normal? Welcome back to Raw. I know you don't like to ease into things, so you'll be in action tonight in a tag match versus the bar. Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. Really? Really now? So, I have a choice between gold dust Smiley Finn, the underwear model. Jason Jordan or The Miz. I'm gonna go with Finn Balor. Hey. 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 I know you're looking for a partner to take on the bar, but unfortunately I already have a match tonight. Well, go fuck yourself. You could do double duty. How do you know I'd want you to team with me? Just a hunch. You're right. It'd be an honor. Or well, maybe NXT's Finn Balor. I don't know about Monday Night Raw's Finn Balor. Maybe some other time, but I will say this. I know you're coming off some injuries, and this is your first match back tonight. I had a long layoff of my shoulder injury a couple years back, but I learned you can't go half speed when you return. It has to be all or nothing, especially against two guys like Sheamus and Cesaro. I appreciate the advice. Smiley Finn. Jason Jordan's guy. Maybe he wants to take hey, me. Hey, I heard from my dad that you're looking for a tag team partner tonight to take on the bar. As someone who's defeated them before, I assume you're going to be choosing me. I think so. Over Goldust and The Miz? Yeah, I think I'm going to choose you. You know, sometimes you can rub people the wrong way, but I can't discount your talent in the ring, so yeah, let's team up tonight. That's the answer I'm going with. I don't even want to look at... I rub people the wrong way? Shut the fuck How? up! I'm picking you to team Can with me! Can you give me. me some specific examples? Or maybe the pleasure some should be kind of video yours, evidence. Bro. I mean, when's the last time I've rubbed someone the wrong way? I don't know, but I want them to rub Sasha Banks the right way until your father cock blocked me! Let's go to the match. Enough of this nonsense. So, I think, I think we're coming up on, like, the end of my career, I think. Because I've asked around. I got, like, two two more chapters left, maybe one more left, I don't know. Let's 
see what happens. I'd love to finish it in this one sitting. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know if it's going to happen. Maybe we'll do a career mode. Um, I might lift an idea from Denk. Being that he's doing a, uh, like a, a road to glory or road to Hall of Fame with Chris Danger where he goes on and fights the biggest legends in the industry. Or maybe we'll do a, a, a road to the world or something like that. I don't know. Where we fight guys from all different promotions. Maybe we'll visit Kenny Omega. Maybe we'll visit Pentagon and Lucha Underground. Maybe we'll visit Cody for the NWA title. This is not spot could have all the titles. There he is, my tag team partner. There you go, Double J. Woo! Remember, remember Jeff Jack, J E double F, J A double R E double T. Slap nuts. Ain't I great? No, you weren't. You were not. No, we're close. Jason Jordan, he's the one with the most talent. I'm not gonna go with the Miz. I'm not gonna go with Gold Dust. You know, who, want, who wants that? Who wants that standing in the fucking corner with you? Against Sheamus and Cesaro? <laughs> no way, man. This was the best thing that happened to both of these guys, I think. Cesaro was never. We we gave up on Cesaro getting a push a long time ago, even though we all know he deserved it. Well, this is the best thing that possibly could have happened to him, man. Sheamus as well. Much better together than they are separate. And they've had some damn good matches together. As a tag team. They had that one really, really good match in that Best of Seven series, that last one. I forgot what pay-per-view it was at. Extreme Rules, a couple years back, when Foley was the GM. Like one of the best decisions that fucking show ever made. That's right, Cesaro. And listen, if Sheamus is, you know, hurt and dealing with nagging injuries and, and they want to bring up somebody to replace Sheamus, you get the kings of wrestling back. Bring up Cassius Ono. I'd, I'd be down for a Cassius Ono Cesaro pairing. Fucking great. There we go, man. 9 to 5 is ready. You know what I'm going to do? Th this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tag out. I'll let Jason Jordan go at it first. Because I'll let him get weak, Cesaro, and then I'll come in and pick the bones. It's my new strategy. Because these matches are fucking terrible. What can I do on the outside? There you go. I don't want the tag. Don't tag me in. Don't tag me in. Go to work. talking about, bro. Listen, don't gloat. Stay on him. See? What a dumbass. Now he's dragging him over to the corner. Like, what a fucking loser. What a loser Jason Jordan is, dude. Why did I pick you? You see, Goldust wouldn't have did that. I put you in there to, to weaken them, and now you're giving them free shots. Look. Whatever. Oh, 
You know why? Uh, I'm getting a little. Oh, I'm getting a little testy on the outside here, man. Now I need the tag. There you go. There you go. Get some offense in on him. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck him up. That's right, man. Rip his arm off. Take me in, brother. There you go. Look at this fucking guy. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, some match you put me in here, Angle. Can't even get a fucking counter in on him. That's a rope break. Come on. This guy is kicking my fucking ass. Um. If I could get the fuck up. He's gonna be, look at this, look at this, look at this. Dude, I, I've got no offense. The, 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 the counter button hasn't even come up for my character. Station, dude. Why is this guy on the outside? I'm tagging him in. Taking you back in, motherfucker. Go get him. Go get him. I hate these tag team matches, dude. I thought I had a good strategy, and then the button, there you go. The button wouldn't come up to reverse. He just kept doing move after move after move on. Right, give me a tag. You're gonna take Cesaro in. I love oh. Gonna tag Cesaro in. Look, he's talking shit to him. This is it. That's it. That's all of That's right, man. Fuck him up!
I don't like these tag team matches, dude. I really don't. I hate being on the outside. I like being in control of what I have to do here. Get off of him, you fucking clown. Make the tag! Let me fucking tag in, please. Look at this shit. This guy is getting his fucking ass kicked. Now Sheamus is in. Dude, this game sucks. Tag team matches in this fucking game suck. Guy's getting, dude, this guy is getting humbled. Completely destroyed. Completely fucking destroyed. Nothing I could do. Why don't you look over yet? Look at this shit, dude. Fuck you, fuck you, Seamus. You fucking piece of shit. What's going on? Get out of the ring before I get disqualified. Look at this guy! Look, now I'm out. Now I'm out. Jordan's gonna do his finishing move and I can't get up to prevent Cesaro from getting in the match. Dude, this is awful. This is fucking excruciating. Got it, thanks to Double J, bro. Thank fucking Christ. That's why I picked him as a partner, man. That's why I picked him as a partner. There you go. There you go. Seamus thought he was slick giving me those fucking punches in the corner. Man, Jordan got fucked up. Holy shit. There you go. Thank God that's over with, man. Let's get back to a one on one situation here. Seriously. Seriously. Let's get on with it. Let's finish it off. Give me a fucking universal title match. Celebrating is still beginning, man. Look, apparently, jo uh oh, apparently Jordan's not. Uh oh. What the fuck? Is that Cole Quinn? Oh! <laughs> 
Ms. Balor. I don't believe Bo has enlisted Cole Quinn. Bo has enlisted Cole Quinn to come and attack me. I don't believe the lengths that this fucking clown will go to, man. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. But when it came time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. He was no use to you anymore. But he is of great use to me. You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally. Swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. Bray has recruited Cole Quinn. Should I attack Bray? I'm gonna attack Bray, bro. I'm gonna attack Bray. Fuck. There's Balor again. There's Balor again. It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere because your match will be taking place in a steel cage. Oh my God. Bray Wyatt versus Mr. 9 to 5 inside the steel cage. I think that's a perfect fucking spot to end it, bro. Actually, we're going on with it. I'm just going to continue it on. Let's do it. I was going to end it. I thought, I thought we were going back to the fucking locker room. I was going to end it. We're going to do the steel cage match. Here we go, man. Going right into things. Hey, we're not waiting. The longest episode of my career to date. Right here. In an effort to finish this thing, man, and get this thing completed. Because I have a tendency to start things and then not finish them, I know. We are going to do this steel cage match, man. I've never done a steel cage match with the controls in this game. Hopefully, I could pin or climb out of the cage. I hope it's not only escape. So, we'll see what happens, man. But, this should be exciting. Mr. 9 to 5 now has not only Bray Wyatt to deal with, but he's got to deal with Cole Quinn, man. And I'm thinking back to Bray Wyatt's character. Why don't they do something similar like this with Bo Dallas? Why? I think that'd be great. Fuck, get Dallas and Axel in the Wyatt family. Get Transform Axel. What is he doing? Bo fits right in with Bray. They're fucking brothers. It'd be great. Get Luke Harper back. Get fucking Eric Rowan back. You got a brand new Wyatt family taking over Monday Night Raw. Oh, man. 
The Fireflies are out. Now you see, what, what 2K should have did here was, if it's the Survivor Series, they knew that it's a Raw vs. SmackDown deal, and they got the brand separated in the career mode. You could have put me against an AJ Styles, right? It would have been a perfect opportunity, man, if they wanted to keep Mr. 9 to 5 as champion, you know? But I guess this is just the grudge match for Survivor Series. They went with the storyline-driven initiative here with Bray Wyatt. JoJo's fat ass man, I'm coming for you, man. The fireflies are out tonight, man, so I could see that big fat ass man. Man, Bray's got such a unique character that you got people in WWE who apparently are movie Hollywood-like writers. And they can't book somebody as obscure and different like Bray Wyatt. It sucks. It, it is just... Uh-oh. I thought he was going to attack him. Like if I uh, wanted to see what was going on with that fucking lantern that he's got. And blow it out. There we go. I don't know for this fucking nonsense. Let's get in the ring and fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, you're ready. You're ready. All right, where's JoJo? There we go. I feel the power. I gotta get him to red health and pin him. Choking him out, choking him out. I gotta get Bray Wyatt down to yellow health so I can start fucking up. Uh -oh. Will you get up? He shouldn't be able to escape the cage if it's only pinfall. Now, now we're gonna weaken him. Now we're gonna weaken him, man. Right here. That octopus hold. Now he wanted to put Sasha Banks in a nice octopus hold, but Kurt Angle fucking cock blocked him. Oh, that full, look how fast that was! Can't knock him down. There you go. There you go. Now we're weakening him. Now we're weakening. I don't know. I don't want to climb the cage. I want actually. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do right there. Nice move there by nine to five. What the fuck? They're gonna fucking bounce out of the corner that way, man. Look at this clown. Get him up. 
Into the cage you go, Wyatt. Of course he blocked me. Can I do anything without fucking being blocked here? Get up! Here, let me see you fucking block this, you fucking slob. Roll over and pin him. Are you fucking kidding me? And there's no DQ, look. There's no DQ, there's no rules in a steel cage match. What the fuck? Oh look, Balor has balls! Oh no! Look at this! One, two, three! Man, Angle's gotta do something about this, man. Angle has to do something about this nonsense. But hey, at least we got fucking Demon Balor again. Balor has some fucking big balls now. You know, when he comes out smiling like the underwear model that he is, I don't know what the fuck he is. Oh, the next night, man. Holy shit. Let's see what happens. What's the follow-up to this? Look. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite the battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. Oh, he After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me, too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. If it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? Uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted. From your memory. Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> you said you were willing to do whatever it takes. <laughs> oh my god, man. We gotta go into the multiverse with Matt Hardy. And that's where I'm gonna end it for this episode of WW2K19 My Career, man. What a fucking episode. Holy shit. Longest that I've recorded to date. And Matt Hardy's over there fucking talking to himself. Jesus fuck. He's, what is he deleting, dude? <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Hope you guys are enjoying this, man. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and I will see you guys, hopefully, with the conclusion of WW2K19 My Career. I'll see you guys later.